All right, so the next thing we want to do is we want to figure out our exact template type. So the first thing we're going to come up here and we're going to set protected and we're going to do, we have already done slugs. So we're going to do template type and actually we created categories. So we're going to do uh, categories here. We'll clean that up a little bit from last time. So we have uh, three different properties right now, slug, template type, and categories. And we're going to get rid of that. And so we're just going to set, uh, we're going to call it or use a function. We're going to call it in our constructor. Remember right now we're all, we're still just in our constructor. So this is all happening when we instantiate a new instance of this class. So we're going to do set template and then in set, in set template, we are going to figure out and set our template type. So we'll come down here and this is this method is going to spawn several others and we'll, you'll see why here in just a second, but we'll do function set template. And essentially this is gonna be a big switch block. And, and but we need a few other functions uh, for a few reasons in order to make this work. So. It's going to be a little bit of a unique switch. You may or may not have seen this before, but we're going to do switch and then we're going to do true. And the reason why we're going to do that is because in our cases inside of our switch, we're actually going to be running comparisons. And if they evaluate to true, the first one that evaluates to true, that's the one that'll be used and the switch will break at that point and, and we'll move on. And that's what we want. So the first match essentially that we get here uh, is going to is going to be the template type that gets set. So we start off with the first case is is this slug. So you remember we just got figured out what slug is this slug and all that. We did just did that method. So if that is equal to home, then we're going to set this template type equal to home and then we'll break okay so essentially the way this works because we're switching on true and then our case is an evaluation here if this evaluates to true that'll match up with this and therefore this template type will be set and will break and that'll break us out of our switch block okay and that's so that template type is what will get set that's the way this works um, and we do that because we have to do this evaluation. We didn't have to do it with this one, but we will have to do it with some others. Okay, so we're checked for home. We're also gonna do, uh, we're gonna check for if it's, we're, I, I'm sort of getting the easy ones out of the way first. So we're gonna do, if it's equal to feed, that means we know we're on our RSS feed. And so we're gonna set, uh, we're gonna set template type equal to RSS and we'll break out of that. Okay. Now here's where it gets a little more tricky because if you remember our slug was, it was home, it was 404, it was category dash something, or it was just whatever the name of the post or the page was. Well, now we need to figure out if it's a post or a page. We have to, we have to start figuring that, that part of it out. And, and so we need to split a spawn of several other methods in order to do that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to sort of speed this up a little bit and I'm going to drop in some code uh, that I've got here and we'll, we'll go through it. Um, but essentially it's the rest of this switch statement. So now that you've got the idea for it, what we're, what we're doing here now is we're, we've, we're going to create a method called is page, one called is post and one called is category. And that's going to check whether the slug is a page, a post, or a category. So it's actually going to check to see if that content exists. Okay, so we've already got our categories uh, set up. So we want to populate some uh, content into our posts and our pages. So I'll drop in some dummy content that I've got here for this. And let me grab the uh, about page really quick. And actually, we'll drop in all these. So for our page, we have our 404, our home, and our about. But so if we open up this page here, 
we have what we have in here is we have a JSON object which has all the metadata for this particular post, title, slug, author, date, all that sort of thing. And then we have three equal signs and then we have some code here. So we're going to be able to come in and be able to split this document by these three equal signs, be able to parse out our metadata and then parse out our content. And then we're going to use our markdown parser, which we'll talk about later, uh, to actually parse this. So again, this is a markdown powered application. So we're going to use a markdown parser to be able to mark this. So these dashes right here will be turned into an unordered list and so forth, anything else that we would have put in here. But again, we need to right now, we just need to check and see if this content even exists so that we can load the proper template. We can figure out what the template is and figure out what content needs loaded and so forth. So with that said, then uh, we come down here. The first one that we need is we need one called is page. So we're going to do protected function is page and we need the slug and then again we need to create a new we need to create a uh, another uh, uh, temp or another uh, template file in our lib here so we're going to create one oh, no, let me just double check this one real quick so we need to create one that will give us uh, the content path that, that we want. So we're going to create one under lib called functions. So do new file functions.php. And again, we'll go to index like this. Uh, I'll just start copying this now since we've done it a few times. And oops, actually I don't want it there. I want it here. And I just put these in alphabetical order because uh, when they're loaded like this, you know, they, the PHP essentially finds them. It, it all works fine. So lib functions and then inside of functions.php, we are going to create a function. And the name of that function is going to be get content path okay and in that we need the content type and we need the slug and this is just going to essentially create our path for us so we're going to set path equal to sprint f and our format will be our first placeholder and then we'll do slash content slash then we'll do our second placeholder slash and our third placeholder. And then what we're gonna put in those placeholders are absolute path for the first one. So that gives us our absolute path and then slash content slash. And then our next thing is content type. So if it's a post, it's gonna be slash post. If it's page slash page, etc. So content type and then our slug, it'll be what post, what page. And then we return path. Okay, so that's going to get us our content path. And then with that, we can come over to our is page method here. And we can do path is equal to get content path. And we we're checking for a page. And the page we're checking for is whatever the slug of the page that request was requested is. So that's going to give us our path to, so this would be something like, you know, it would be like slash, it would be Rourke, content, page, and then if about was what was requested, it would be about, or if it was home, or if it's the 404, whatever, remember we set our slug home, 404, category, dash, and we'll talk about category in a minute, et cetera. Whatever that is, that's what it, that's what this slug is going to be. And so it's going to check to see if that slug exists in our page folder here and thus is a page. So this is how we're figuring out the, the template type. So from that, we're gonna do if uh, file exists, which is a PHP function, then, and we're gonna pass in our path. And then if that, if it is, then we're gonna return true. And if it's not, then we're gonna return false. 
Okay, so that's going to be our is page check. We're going to pass in the slug and it's going to see if that slug actually exists in our page uh, folder here. Now, for is post, it's actually the exact same thing, except now it's just instead of uh, is page, it's of course is post. And instead of here looking in the page folder, we're going to look in the post folder. So those two functions or methods are, are very, very, uh, are very similar. The one that's a little bit different is going to be is category. And again, we're going to pass in our slug. And now here we have to do it a little bit different because you remember categories, the, the slug we returned was category dash. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to split that apart. So we're going to do parts equal explode and we're going to explode on that dash. So if there's a dash, it's going to break it apart by that. And then we're going to do slug. Okay. Now remember, this is a check. So when a page is loaded, you know, it, it's it, re it goes through pages and posts first, but potentially you could have something coming through this check that isn't form isn't a category. So we still have to sort of handle it in a way where we're, we, we recognize that. So we're going to split it on that dash and we're going to set slug equal to array uh, pop and part. So we're going to pop off the last part of that. So if we have an, a valid category, category dash, what we end up with with parts is we end up with two an array with two elements. The first element is going, the value is going to be category, the, the word category because it was category dash. And then the second one is going to be the name of the category, whatever it is, demo, etc. So when we do array pop, we're, we're essentially taking that second element, which is the name of the category. So if we have a valid category, this should be the name of the category. So that's what we want to check. We want to see if that exists in our categories array or in our categories that we designated in our folder. So the first check we're going to do is we're essentially going to see if categories is empty. So if we haven't set any categories, then it can't be a valid category because we don't have any. So if categories is not empty and also not empty slug. So if slug isn't empty, then we're going to do this. If they're both, if both those things are empty, then we're just going to come down here and we're going to return false, right? Because if both those things or either one of those things is empty, then it's going to skip this block altogether and just return false. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to do cats equal array keys and we're going to run that on this categories and what this is going to do is if you remember our categories object here these are the keys demo and test etc so when we run array keys what that gives us is it gives us an array with just those keys so we're gonna have two elements one will be uh, the value be demo and one will be test we need that so that we can run a proper if uh a conditional statement off of in array. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to do if in array and we're going to check for our slug if it is in that cat's array that we just created with array keys. Okay. If it is, then we're going to set this slug equal to slug and we're going to return true. Now, why do we do that? Because remember our slug before was category dash demo. We did that so we could come here and split it apart, know that we needed the template category, but also still know what category we needed. So now we know that this is a category if it, all these checks have happened. So now we can set this slug equal to the name of the category, not category dash, just the name of the category, because we now know our template type. Okay. So that's what uh, those are the three methods we need, and that's what uh, runs here. And then if I come up here, let's just do uh, echo, oh, echo this uh, template type. All right, and if everything worked out well, then we should be able to see what our template type is. So we're on the about page, 
and it says the template type is page. Now, if I went to a page that doesn't exist, like doggy, well, that page doesn't exist, okay? And uh, now it's returning page because if you come over here, you remember 404 is a page, okay? And let's just, uh, let's do this. This will make it a little bit more clear, I think. Enco this dot template type dot dash oh. well that's fine that don't matter and then we'll do this slug okay so the template type and then the slug and it says page equals 404 if we go back to about we do page equals about if we do category slash demo which is one that exists category equals demo if we do category dog well that category doesn't exist so it's a 404 if we just do something let's do lorem ipsum post equals lorem ipsum let's do lorem ipsum gobbledygook which doesn't exist 404 and if we go to our home page you see home equals home so home page the page template is home and the page is home. So what that does is now we know the template type we need and we know what content file we need to load and we're correct. We are correctly finding whether something is a 404, if the post actually exists, if the page actually exists, if the category actually exists. So we've got the foundation of what we need now in order to bring all this together, pull in the content, pull in the template and feed that com uh, content into uh, the template and that's what we're going to do as we go forward here hopefully you're enjoying the course up to this point now if you'd like to keep going and finish it off all my courses are available on skillshare and not only will you get access to all of my courses but over 20,000 others on web design and web development freelancing graphic design online marketing and more and it's all for just 10 bucks a month and as a teacher on skillshare i can give you a two-month free trial. You'll get full access to the entire library of courses and you can cancel at any time before the trial is up and you'll never be charged a penny. To learn more and to start your two-month free trial, head on over to johnmorrisonline.com slash Skillshare.